Okay, welcome to using the UI Image Picker Controller with Mono Develop. Uh, this controller is how we allow the user to either take a photo with their device or select a photo from their photo library. So let's jump right in and start some coding. Okay, file, new solution. Uh, let's go ahead and choose the iPhone Mono Touch project. That way, um, it does a little bit of the stuff for us that, that we don't have to handle. All right, so I'm just going to call this image picker controller screencast. Hit OK. Uh, now if we look here, um, we can see that by choosing this type, it, it uh, goes ahead and generates a few files for us. We don't really need to concern ourselves with any of this code except the main.cs where we'll have to add our view so um, that it can actually be displayed but we'll do that after we create our view controller so let's go back up here to the project let's right click let's go to add new file view interface definition with controller so I'm just going to um, put my initials and then call it a image picker view controller again generates a few files there for us um, let's go ahead and open up the zib and let's build the user interface in interface builder okay we open it up and we see we have a blank view here so let's go to objects and let's look for the UI image view. Um, that's what it looks like there. Uh, you can either spot it by the way it looks, or you can type UI image view. Drag that. Um, we can go ahead and leave it the full size uh, for this demo. Doesn't really matter, but you can size it up any way you'd like. We also now need a UI toolbar. I'm going to put, put this down at the bottom. Next, I'm going to grab the fixed space bar button item. This will allow me to push this UI bar button item all the way over to the right side of the screen. Now I'm going to select my bar button item and I'm going to change its identifier to camera and this will change it to the icon that everyone is so familiar with um, of the camera. One more thing I'm going to do is actually change the style of my toolbar to the black translucent. Next we need to add some outlets that way mono develop knows what objects that we're going to be working with. So go back to your library, go to classes, go ahead and find your view controller, go to outlets, scroll on down here. First, let's add an image view, which is the, uh, the type UI image view. Let's add a camera button, which is the UI bar button item. Now, Go back up here to Files Owner, right click, and drag the outlets to the appropriate objects. Now we can save, and we can quit Interface Builder. Now if we look over here in our .designer.cs, we can see that it, by doing those outlets, it generated some code for us. So let's go into our MB image picker view controller code behind. And the first thing, let's add a variable up here for a UI image picker controller. That way we can actually call the picker and have it displayed. Now if we want to be able to control um, 
any of the methods or events for this picker, we're going to have to have our own instance of a UI image picker controlled delegate. So before we get any farther, let's go ahead and create that class. Okay, so we have a picker delegate that is of the type UI image picker controller delegate. And we also need an instance of our view controller so that we can access uh, any of the objects that we have in our zip. Let's also allow them to pass that into us. And let's just set our instance of underscore VC equal to the controller that we pass in. Now, there's only one method that we really need to, or one event, excuse me, that we really need to override um, and that is finished picking image. Um, this is the event that fires off when the user actually is done. Uh, they they pick the image or or they they've taken the, the photograph. They've done their editing. Um, it's, it's the last thing. So public finished picking image. Now we don't need to call the base, so we can just get rid of all that code. Um, and look, this method has a handy UI image um, that contains the image that we need. So, let's um, use our view controller to get to our image view that we set up and set its image equal to the image that they've selected. Um, now, when we present this um, picker controller, we're going to use the present modal view controller. Um, after the image is done, we, we need to dismiss um, that view controller. So let's do picker dot dismiss modal view controller animate. And love those iPhone animations, so let's say true. 